Buongiorno and welcome to the Sunday History Rewind. I'm Jim Lumley. Today we're in one of the most unique cities on the globe. Welcome to Venice, Italy. <laughs> This floating city in northern Italy is one of the most picturesque places in the world. With its winding canals, old bridges, and European architecture, Venice is a popular destination for travel. I first visited here in 2007, but today it's still the same unique city of canals with few changes, except for the Italian police issuing speeding tickets for fast boaters. This little island has 417 bridges, 177 canals. The S-shaped Grand Canal is the largest and splits the city in two. Everywhere you walk, there are souvenir shops and restaurants. In Venice, there are about 350 gondolas. The heavy flat bottom boats are 11 meters long, that's 36 feet, and made of wood. Propelled and steered with a single oar, operating a gondola requires a high level of skill. The gondola driver is called a gondolier. Always dressed in an easily recognizable straw hat and striped shirt, these talented boat operators are a big part of Venetian culture, dating back to the 11th century. Until 2010, all gondola drivers were men. It requires 400 hours of training, a rigorous exam, and membership in the 1,000-year-old Gondoliers Guild, which is strictly controlled. Gondola drivers in Venice can earn as much as 130,000 euros per year. That's about 150,000 U.S. dollars. The San Marco Bell Tower was built in the 12th century, but collapsed in 1092. It was rebuilt and is now the fifth tallest bell tower in Italy. The Carnival of Venice is an annual festival and it's world famous for its elaborate masks and costumes. <laughs> The population in Venice has decreased dramatically over the past 50 years to only 60,000 residents. Venice is sinking at the rate of 1.5 meters per year. Still, Venice, Italy is one of the most remarkable places on planet Earth. <laughs> 